Welcome back to the Aussie Shed, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick five minute video here. I've got a whole heap of plates to drill and tap. These guys here, I've, I've already finished drilling them. I've got a crap load of them to do. Each one has four 10 mil holes in it. 10 by 1.5 millimeter threaded holes. So I thought I might just give you a bit of a demonstration of how easy it is to tap holes on the converted drill press and the benefit over using a mill that doesn't have a wind down spindle. The spindle makes it very easy when you are tapping things because the, uh, because the tap will just pull the, the quill down as it goes in. I'm not using a tapping head to do this either. This is just direct off the drill press. Now, most drill presses run too fast to be able to do this and they generally don't have the torque or the reversing capability. But with the modifications that I've made to the drill press, uh, particularly with the treadmill motor, which I have a reversing switch on, makes it really, really simple to do most tapping tasks. Realistically, the biggest I've probably tapped in here is using a 12 mil tap, just into mild steel. It seems to cope with that okay. But smaller taps and stuff, yeah, absolutely no problem. The only thing you've got to watch out for is that you are very, very careful that you don't start binding in your material and, and snap the taps. I have snapped a few taps when I've been a little bit exuberant, but I've got it pretty much sussed out now. So uh, yeah, I haven't broken any taps for a while, but believe me, when you have a shitload of holes to do, I have about 60 of these holes to do. And having a machine in your home workshop that can do that kind of thing is just a total godsend. So I'll give you a quick demo. I'll zoom the camera up and uh, we'll have a bit of a look and I'll just throw a few holes in. All right, we'll see how this goes. All right, so I'm just, I'm using my right hand on the, to control the quill and my left hand just on the forward and reverse switch. I've got the speed set to, I don't know, I'll see what it, what it comes in. It will actually go quite a bit slower than this, but this is just a quick speed for me to be able to get through them reasonably quickly without uh, sort of dilly-dallying around. So I'll, I'll do one and if my arm gets in the way too much. All right, here we go. Like butter, ladies and gentlemen, like butter. I'll do a few more. Here we go, set so up for another one. You can imagine if you've got an absolute shitload of holes to, to tap, having a machine like this in your workshop, way to go. How good is that? And one more for good measure, ladies and gentlemen, just so you can really feel the goodness of machine tapping with your home drill press. Here we go. And one more for good luck, ladies and gentlemen. A stunt hand has become available, so I thought I'd make quick use of it. How good was that? Now back to our regular viewing. It's just that simple. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Convert your drill press today and enjoy the magic. Thank you.